Welcome to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Taft. This podcast is a condensed version of today's episode of Undisputed, handpicked with the best segments and discussions. Skip, Shannon, let's go. Tyrod Taylor made his third consecutive start last night, but made Browns fans nervous when he fell on his wrist and left the game. Taylor missed two drives, but was able to return and finish the half. He completed 11 of his 16 passes. Baker Mayfield took over again in the second half and completed eight of his 12 passes, but threw a bad interception that led to Baker taking a nasty hit to the head. Let's take a listen to the rookie QB on his performance. I would never say it's a good opportunity when our leader and captain and Ty goes down. Um, but yeah, getting out there with the ones, that, that's something I need to need to do. Uh, and I did that tonight. And that's why I'm disappointed in myself. I didn't take advantage of it. I didn't, you know, play my best game. So that, that's on me. Um, that's, you know, what we do with the reps, uh, I just have to play the best when I get them. And that's plain and simple and how it is. Disappointed in myself, you know, got in there with the first team, got to get the ball out quicker. Things that, um, I'll look back on tape. I'll definitely improve from, but uh, not my best work at all. Eric Dickerson is joining us on this Friday. Which quarterback looked better to you last night? Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to start off by saying this. I think that Baker Mayfield is the future of the Cleveland Browns. But right now, you have to go with the guy that you traded for, and that's Tyrod Taylor. I know he's been there. He's done it before. I mean, he looked good last night. I mean, this is a preseason game. You know, he got dinged up there on, on the, by the goal line and came back in to still play in the preseason. So that shows that, mm-hmm. that you know, they think, okay, you know, we, we're going to still play him. He's, he's okay. But I think the guy that, that really needs to, you know, be the quarterback for right now is Tyrod Taylor. And I say this, John Dorsey, he inherited a 1-31 team. He didn't bring Baker Mayfield there to break his confidence. And I think that's the most important thing. You, you have a guy that can play quarterback – uh, possibly get you where you want to go. They have a lot of weapons uh, in Cleveland. I mean, and I'm actually shocked to say that Cleveland actually have some weapons. Mm, they do. So um, right now, I would have to go with Tyrod Taylor the way he's playing. You got one, I think, one preseason game left, and just call it a day. And the thing is, the best player hadn't played yet, Josh Gordon. So you, we do believe he'll be ready to play opening weeks. Get back. I don't know, you know, how much he's going to play because considering he hadn't played none of the preseason and to go from playing nothing to opening day, being on the field, when you're going ha- to have to run like he's going to be asked to run, is asking a lot. I just think there was a great opportunity for Baker to maybe seize that moment last night, especially once Tyrod went down. I think one of the reasons Tyrod went down, he wanted to show, I'm tough, I can gut it up. But he also, he didn't want Baker Mayfield to, to get all those reps, Skip, and look good. Because if Baker Mayfield, Tyrod gets nicked like he did, Baker comes in, plays well, no, Tyrod not getting that job back, Skip. You know that, right? Mm. Tyrod knew that. There's a reason why starting quarterback, <laughs> Skip, they do not want the backup. Mm. Tom Brady does not want backups getting reps. Mm. Neither did Peyton Manning. None of these guys. Drew, Drew Brees takes every rep because I want to minimize as few a times as possible mm. you looking at my backup because he started looking good like, well, hey. We, we, we paying this guy all their money. Mm. Let's let go and put him in there. Mm. So, look, Skip, it's going to happen probably sooner than later. Mm. But just not mm. calm, settle down. So, I got to return <laughs> to my man E.D. as in Eric Dickerson, <laughs> as in greatest running back ever, who might have lost his mind just a couple of minutes ago here on Undefeated. <laughs> because the last time he's on and the last time we addressed this topic, I believe he was on the Baker Mayfield bandwagon. And all of a sudden, I think he's flip-flopped. <laughs> I think he was all about Tyrod last night. And the quote I wrote down was, Tyrod looked good. That's what you said, looked yeah. good. I so say great, good. So I'll go back to yeah. a little number that I threw at my man Shannon Sharp earlier in this show. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> because last week on this show, after Dak's second preseason game, my man Shannon Sharp just annihilated Dak Prescott because he averaged a mere 5.7 yards per completion mm-hmm. in his second preseason game. And he, thanks to his brilliant researcher Steve Owens dredged up the fact that Joe Flacco had the worst in the league last year at 5.7. So you're saying, how could you defend Dak Prescott? Because he was as bad as Joe Flacco was all of last year, right? Dinking That's what and you're dacking. Yep. Dinking and dacking. So <laughs> speaking of dinking and dacking, how about dinking dack? 
Taylor. That's who he was last <laughs> night because I, I'm looking at this number. He averaged 4.1 yards per attempt, and Eric Dickerson said he looked good last night. Did I say great. 4.1 yards per attempt, and we get to the crucial moment in the game where it was a turning point for, I think, for Tyrod Taylor. He had it first and goal at the one. This all got lost in the shuffle because he got the sympathy break at the end of this series. But sympathy. first and goal at the at the one yard line, and he throws incomplete to Jarvis Landry. And then on second goal from the one, he threw incomplete to a little Damian Ratley, the rookie out of Texas A&M. And then third goal, he goes back to tried and true Jarvis Landry, incomplete. Fourth and goal, he rolls left, rolls left, rolls left, and he tries to force the ball to one Jarvis Landry. It could have been picked off. It was not. But that all got lost in the shuffle because Tyrod, unfortunately, for him, fell and tried to stop himself from hitting the ground, and the wrist buckled, and it looked bad to me. I thought he broke his wrist or his hand or something, but he did not because the x-rays were negative, and he bounced back and gutted it up and came back out, and to your point, yeah, he had to do that, and I think he showed his coaches and his team a lot that he came back and played for them and with them, but lost in the shuffle was four cracks from the one-yard line, Baker Mayfield's going to make a play in there. I that's what Baker Mayfield does. For a second, I thought, yeah. who's the offensive coordinator? Daryl Bevel? Remind you of Seattle in the Super Bowl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> At least one time run the ball. Run the ball. Can, can I get one can run I, from the one? They don't Just want. one. They don't but it's Tyrod Taylor. He's the starter. You He's the what? guy. Put, it, put the ball Skip, you in know Tyrod's good hands. You know good. <laughs> well, that's what you guys would tell me? <laughs> you so they put it in his hands four times for the one and got nothing. And Tyrod, they should have put the ball in Tyrod's hand, and he should have turned around and put it in somebody's belly. Exactly. I'll say I'll say this. You know, I feel like that Baker had an opportunity to beat him out. Yes. Beat him. Yes. Out. Make it no no contact. If, he, if he'd have came in with the he said it himself. Mm-hmm. I didn't play well. You know, I, when mm-hmm. I, when I, I don't want to see my captain go down. But when I get the opportunity, mm-hmm. I have to take full advantage of it. Oh. And, 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 uh. he, and, uh, so, and, and he, But he didn't take advantage of it. You, you know, I, I, so he, full advantage. So he gets thrown into the fire unexpectedly. Remember, he's not a relief pitcher. He's never not been a starter in his life. So he wasn't ready to get thrown in. And I think the whole team was a little shook up because it looked like they had lost Tyrod maybe for the year. The first two games of the season, right? what was he? Hmm? The first two games. Third. He was a backup. So he was used to being the backup. Well, what right? are you talking about? The first two games of the re- in preseason. What was oh, Baker Mayfield? Okay. He was a backup. But, but again, you're scheduled to start the second half, and this was off schedule that you get thrown in against a defense that is flat out hellacious loaded. Exactly. Don't forget that. Philly, right. Philly's, Philly's That's defense, a good defense is really good. Mm-hmm. You put Jordan Hicks back in the middle of it, he was flying. They were all flying. Yeah. They're all Fletcher Cox was everywhere. Brandon Grant. They're everywhere. That Bennett. could be, yeah, you had Michael Bennett to it. That could be the best defense in pro football this year. So what happens on third and nine? This is the first series. Baker's thrown into that fire. Third and nine from the 35. What happened? He dropped straight back. I thought it was the throw of the night. Shannon thought later one was the throw of the mm-hmm. night. But this was a really good throw. If we could see that. Did we see it yet? That accurate throw. Here we go. Yeah, Baker drops back. This is against the Philly defense. Whoosh. Uh, you know what? That looked like a big-time pro football is, throw to that me. Is, that is yeah. a big-time yeah. football throw, but that's one. Wow, that that's, was that, one. That, that's, that's one throw. Okay. I, I'll, I'll even go further with Baker. You know, when you get into the National Football League, the things you do in college, you can't get away with in the pros, and I mm-hmm. found that out. Matter of fact, we played against the Washington Redskins. Mm-hmm. And in college, you know, you come through on a, on a check-down route, you get right out. <laughs> I go on a check-down route, route against the, this the Redskins. Big Dave Butts grabbed me like this, mm-hmm. grabbed me and looked in the backfield. Mm. Okay, now you can go. Mm. I'm like, wow, this is the pros. I think they, I mean, huh. Baker, Baker Mayfield found it out last night through that interception. Now, the interception, I don't blame him for the interception. If you look at it, the receiver's coming across on a crossing route. Mm-hmm. The linebacker spotted, spots him mm-hmm. and really pushes him. Mm-hmm. So the throw that, that, that Baker Mayfield was going to throw to, the guy would have been there. Mm. In college, he, he makes that throw. He makes mm-hmm. that. But in the NFL, things happen a lot faster. And once again, he's got a guy bearing down right in his face, and he took another yeah. lick and got knocked back into his own guy. And he showed some toughness because they yeah. took him in the yeah. tent. He got, he got his bell rung. Yeah, but the, right? the coaches, they always tell you, they always say, look, you're one play away. Baker Mayfield, you one player. I understand you to back up and we, on schedule. You're supposed to start, let's say, the second quarter or the third, uh, uh, the second half. But Tyrod got nicked. You got to get your grab your helmet and get ready to go, Ed. Right, things change. Mm. They change. They change. Mm. That's, that's let's football, go. Let's right? go, son. Football. Well, I just gave you third and nine from the 35. First series. That's a pretty good throw. Oh, I think he was warmed up. And by the way. He is not a mistake maker. If you look at college history, we always talk about Jameis made mistakes, but Deshaun threw a lot of interceptions mm-hmm. in the second year or was last year at, at Clemson, Clemson, right? Yep. But this kid was 119 touchdowns to 21 interceptions. That's 
out, that, that's outrageously oh, been good. Great. For any yeah. quarterback who was a starter over that period with 40 or more games, that was by far the best touchdown to interception ratio in college football over the last three years. I told you, QBR, my favorite stat. He was number one in the nation in QBR in efficiency, overall efficiency, the last two years. He is a careful risk taker. And I agree with you. I didn't even try to throw that excuse out, but thank you for doing that because his man got knocked off his route. and He tried to throw blind over there, and there are certain plays you can't make. But remember, he's having to play with the threes at that point. There are a lot of third stringers in. He's throwing to people you've never heard of. He doesn't get to play with Jarvis Landry except early for those first couple of series. Well, the biggest thing is is that when you in the pros, they know all the tricks. Mm-hmm. See, a college linebacker is exactly. not going sh- to shove the guy because no, he doesn't not. know to get, you know, to Come knock him off his rhythm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So, Baker is thinking his college, okay, he's going to be able to run free. I know where he's supposed to be. Yep. I can flip it to him. He, nope. He flipped it blind <laughs> and he lost. Yeah, I, okay. I still say that the future of this football team is Baker Mayfield. Mm-hmm. When you go back and look at quarterback, let's, let's take in, in Green Bay, Brett Favre, who sit behind Brett Favre? Aaron Rodgers. You had Drew Brees, who sit behind Drew Brees? Phillip, Phillip Rivers. Hmm. John Kidner, who sit behind him? Carson. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing. And I'm, hey, I'm, but did you just put Tyrod in the no, same class? No, I, I, I knew you were going to say that. That's I what you just said. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, just okay. giving, I'm just giving you a scenario of backups, backup okay. quarterback. It's nothing wrong with being a backup quarterback. It, right now, he's a young quarterback. He needs to learn. Do you want to I go, agree. Do you, Hold on. I, I do agree that one day, I believe that this is the guy that should be the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns. He has that swag about him. He gets his team fired up. When's that day? September, what is it? Seven? No, 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 no. September eighth, I think. September eighth, it opens up. I just don't, I don't, I don't think you throw him out there right away because you know, you know, Skip, you know too. You can get out, you can get a guy and break his confidence right off the bat. And this is the Cleveland Browns clowns we're talking about. You know, so you, this is the guy for the team. Let's let's just say he he doesn't play maybe the first month. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Week four, you'll see. Month, so you want to lose for a month? So you you ain't no guarantee they gonna lose. I lose for a month to to save a lifetime. But if Tyrod wins in in the first month, he's not exactly. Exactly. So so he should have been in. That lets you know he should have been in there all along, man. So you're looking at it negatively. You're doing worst case scenario. That's what you're saying. I got best case. I don't think you can crush. You've been around Baker Mayfield. Can you can you rattle him? Can oh yes, you, you can. Anybody can. In, in, in the oh, NFL, yes you can. Yes you can. You. NFL, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, this ain't college here. Unsinkable. Can. No, Skip Bayless. Trust Unsinkable. me. Like like the Cowboys. Okay. I'm look at his history. Look what he did. <laughs> yeah. He walked on at Texas Tech. It's a, hey, I've been to games at Texas Tech. There, there's seventy thousand people in stands, and he gets thrown into that fire against the the returning starter. He just took the. Program yeah. over. It, it, Oklahoma, it, he walked it, in. It, 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 how many, it's, it's how many Heisman Trophy and a, Buckus and Lombardi Award winners that come in there? Woo! Oh, he go. Hey, this is the it player that could be the quarterback of the it team in pro football. This defense is coming of age. Oh, yeah. You saw it last right. night. And as you said, there are weapons on offense and on defense. And if you put Baker Mayfield in the mix, he is a fire starter. He's a playmaker. I agree with you with that. He's the pie I I agree with you totally. But let me ask you, what's wrong with waiting? I mean, what's what's the problem? What's wrong with that? Lose some games? Just lose some more? What what if Tyrod wins? What if Tyrod goes 10 and 6? Okay, then you're right. Then you'd be right. I don't think he can go 10 and 6. You think Baker could? I think he can go nine and seven. I already told you. If you're mm-hmm. starting from the start, they'll mm-hmm. go nine and seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'll be the shock team of the year. No. Nope. Like, what did, what did Hugh Jackson say? This is going to be the greatest turnaround in the history of sports. Thanks to Tyrod. Yeah. But the more he that. waits, the more Baker waits behind him, he is just more fueled. That's how this yeah. guy that, works. That, that, mm. That's exactly how he works. He, it's, it's like, it's like it gets him like, mm. I, I, need to be, I need to be. A, he is the guy. I yeah. really believe he's the guy. It's for the brilliant by Hugh Jackson. Team. He's going to buy himself a whole year because the clock won't start on Hugh until Baker starts next year. No. That's what you're saying? No, 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 huh? no. Opening day, the clock starts on Hugh. Oh, opening day right. against Pittsburgh. No mercy. Nick Foles got the start for the Eagles last night, and it was not good. I don't know what Skip is talking about here. He threw two interceptions, <laughs> fumbled, and was sacked for a safety in the 5 nothing loss at halftime. Doug Peterson told Aaron Andrews he was disappointed in Foles' performance after the game. He tried to walk that back a little. Let's take a listen to Peterson when he was asked if Foles was to blame last night. Not Nick, offensively. Uh, we had six possessions. We had two interceptions, two fumbles. We had a sack safety, and uh, we had a turnover on down. So that's an offensive performance. I was displeased with the way our, our first offense uh, executed. 
I'm disappointed in the offense. I don't want to single out one one player, so don't put this all on Nick. Uh, I'm disappointed in the offense. Um, and, and it's not what you want, obviously, in the third preseason week. Shannon, how concerned should the Eagles be about Foles? The Eagles should be concerned, but they shouldn't be surprised. I mean, Nick Foles is what he is. Nick Foles, is, this is more who, of who Nick Foles is, not the guy that played the champ, the two, are, 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 um, arguably the greatest conference championship and Super Bowl mm. in NFL history. Mm. All, this is what we know. There, there's a reason why the Eagles said, oh. nah, we good. Oh. There's a reason why the Rams said, nah, mm-mm. And there's a reason why Kansas City said, okay, go ahead, bro, handle, handle yourself. Mm. No, come on now, let's be real. Mm. What we're start, starting to see is that if teams can get pressure on Nick Foles, he's below average. Uh, nine possessions uh, this uh, preseason, zero points, Skip. That's not good enough. And – for me, I don't try to put a whole lot of stock in, in the preseason, but what I'm looking for is that a guy of Nick Foles, if Baker Mayfield makes those mistakes, I can live with it because he's a rookie. A guy that's six or seven years deep in the NFL cannot make those. Skip, that first interception is single high. Mm-hmm. He stares the receiver down so bad, the guy comes out of the middle of the field and has ample time. Really? And then I don't know what he was thinking on that on that, that short yardage play when he threw it on, on the goal line. What was that, Skip? You're going to try – he don't have that kind of arm. Yes, is it my turn? No, it's not your turn. But that's your guy. Mm. You, should be, you should be out of – you mm. know what? That makes you really upset because mm. after you've seen him in the last two games mm. and you saw what he did in the Super Bowl, you're mm. like, why couldn't that Nick Foles mm. show up? I don't know, Skip. Mm. I don't know why. I do know why. I don't know why. Mm. Stop it. Mm. But that's not good enough. The Eagles know what they have. They know who Nick Foles is. They know what he is mm. and what he isn't. Mm. So, interesting. I do think there's two weeks from last night in which Carson walk it to him yeah. needs to be ready to go. Huh. And the way Nick Foles has been playing in the preseason, yep. he keeps speeding up the process mm. in which Nick Foles needs to mm. be ready to go. Mm. So, Jenny Taft, I know how much you love stats that you hear from the other side of the table, thanks to the puppet master, Steve <laughs> Owens. Look, here's a stat for you. Okay. You said this is who Nick Foles really is. Mm-hmm. So, in the regular seasons of Nick Foles' career, he has thrown 61 touchdowns to a mere 29 interceptions. That's really good, Shannon. Is that who he is or what? Is that No, 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 no. So, this is really who he is? Well, that, that guy's pretty good. No. I'm- in fact, he's... Pretty great. Hold on, Skip. So oh, if he was that great, why the three team? Why has three teams said, "Nah, we mm, good"? I don't know. You do know because we saw what happened last year in the playoffs. I've never seen see, anything like that before see, because Carson Wentz is not capable of doing what Nick Foles did you, in the playoffs. That's being very well, disrespectful. All he did was play the two best back-to-back big stage playoff games I have ever witnessed. But that's before. the thing, though, Skip. In that's the, the anomaly. Game and the Super Bowl. But that's the anomaly. Sixty-one to twenty-nine in no. the regular season. That's not the anomaly. Hold that's on. who that guy was. But let me ask you a question. At any point in time, mm. during those 61 touchdowns and 29 interceptions, did you say, you know what, that guy can go win a Super Bowl and he could outgun Tom well, Brady I, in I the really process? I liked him in what year was it, 2013? Yes. Chip Kelly, he was really good. 27 and 2. Woo. And in the playoff game against Drew Brees, he was really good in that game and deserved to win it, and Drew Brees went and won it uh, at the buzzer. Okay, so 2013, 14, 15, yeah. 16. Did you those know, seasons you, happen? Do you know how many mistakes this league in general makes on quarterbacks every year? They make mistakes Mistake on a lot of players. Everywhere. So, let's do your favorite word again. Let's do step back. Let's do context. Mm-hmm. Let's do perspective on what just happened in the last two preseason games in which the Philadelphia Eagles played. First one was a week ago Thursday night in Foxborough. Mm-hmm. So, let's see. In the Super Bowl, it was the Patriots versus the Eagles. And all of a sudden, this became a grudge match in Foxborough because Lane Johnson went completely over the edge. And no, he did And called out the Patriots and called them a bunch of joyless robots. And I'm cleaning up all the language. <laughs> And they did not like it. And they did not like it that the backup Philadelphia (laughs) Eagles quarterback torched them in the Super Bowl, made them look silly. 41 points Nick Foles put up. And so they came out and said, watch this, Nick Foles. And they came after Six him like banshees. It was hellacious. I didn't know who these people were. I knew one of them. His name's Adrian Claiborne, and he terrorized my guy Dak Prescott but, in Atlanta last year, Skip, and he came back to life for the if, Patriots. But if you don't mind me asking, yeah. if Nick Foles is that guy, huh. it doesn't matter what the huh. defense does. Yeah, but it doesn't if you, matter what if the you defense can't does. block anybody and you have eight sacks, 
Again, Adrian Claiborne had six against Dak. As a group, they had eight. I'm saying, who are these guys? I think if you had watched it, you'd be saying, who were these people? Where were they just a few short months ago up in Minneapolis? They, they didn't show up, but they sure showed up for this one. And they punished Nick Foles and they punished the Eagles because it was 27 to 7 at halftime. Yeah. Tom Brady played the Nick, whole first how, half. How did Nick Foles play? Okay. He played terrible because okay. he didn't have any time. Any, what do you always tell me? If a quarterback, you, you, it doesn't matter who it is, Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, you name them. Yeah. They don't have time. They don't have a chance. I, Tom Brady doesn't have time. What happened in the Super Bowl yeah. against the Giants? He just didn't have time. Well, here's the right? thing, though. There's a difference between not having time and turning the ball over. Well, Tom Brady might not have time, but he's going to take care of the mm-hmm. football. And if you're looking up leading up to the NFC Championship game, mm-hmm. Nick Foles had one touchdown, three mm-hmm. interceptions. Mm-hmm. So you tell me going into that NFC Championship game, you thought Nick Foles one could do what he did. Three interceptions yeah. to win. Well, leading up to the NFC Championship game. Excuse oh, me, one touchdown. Yeah. Well, no, he didn't have three interceptions. Two interceptions. One touchdown. Against two inter- Atlanta, he had one. That's all I can remember. He threw one. He had one bad ball against Atlanta. In three, I don't remember in three games. In the three games leading up to oh, the championship. Oh, okay. Including the Raiders. The, the Raiders. I, I, uh, I think they played the Raiders, the, uh, the Giants. Mm-hmm. Well, I saw him come in and save the game against the Rams here in Atlanta. Oh, he did. He, Stop! He, skip! Third and nine. <laughs> It's the, the game's on the line, and he completes the so, ball. So what did Nick Foles do? Did you so, see those four touchdowns that Nick oh, Foles had? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, Carson Wentz. Jenny, I'm going to reclaim my time because I got rudely interrupted <laughs> from across the table because I okay. didn't get to finish my second okay. part of contact. Okay. Last night, what did we see? We saw the team that is featured every Tuesday night on Hard Knocks yeah. come out in a big solo stage Thursday night. It's our time to show out game yes on Fox sure. national and what did they do the defense said watch this and they came after Nick Foles like rabbit what, what was the great LT's quote like a pack of wild dogs mm-hmm. that's what they came after him at I I'd never seen anything like that from Miles Garrett and I can go down the line How big they, they were coming from everywhere How big v do? I'm glad you brought that up because big V has gotten a big flat F in the last oh! two games he has been exposed. And Jason Peters, who's trying to come back from his surgery, he, he's not playing at all. So all of a sudden, you got a big old hole on your left no! side. And what happened to Jason Kelsey, who's the best center in pro football? Got hurt early in this game, and he's out. They got some backup tight end whose name escapes me playing all three offensive line interior positions at different times during the first half last night mm-hmm. because they were so handicapped in the offensive line. If you don't protect Nick Foles, he is statuesque. I never said he was quick and fast. He's no Baker Mayfield, so he had no – they sacked – they had seven sacks last night. And for the first time since LeBron James left Cleveland, we finally saw a Cleveland team that can play defense because we know the Cavaliers couldn't play defense for LeBron James. Well, I'm just – He's been waiting to use that. Yeah, how about that? That was just a big boom. Because you got no comeback for but that. But see, what you do That's is That's what like, happened to Nick Foles. Those things happen. See, you use the word context, mm-hmm. but Nick Foles picked the perfect time mm. to play the games of his life. Well, well, that's pretty great, you know? Okay, don't, but, don't act like it's luck. No, it happens. It is. It's in the bank, man. First of all, Skip, have we ever seen, like you said, we've never seen a quarterback in the history of the game in almost 100 years mm-hmm. play, well, in the Super Bowl era play a conference championship no, game in a Super Bowl game like that. I haven't seen anything so like it before. If Tom Brady plays like that, Aaron Rodgers or Peyton Manning or one of these other great mm-hmm. quarterbacks, okay, yep. we got no problem with that. Mm. We don't normally see a guy like Nick Foles coming from nowhere Mm. to play like Mm. this. Kurt Warner played tremendous, but he had a whole season of playing tremendous in 99. Mm -hmm. Nick Foles will basically have been a backup for the previous Mm. three years. Okay. So now, Shanjin, for a little more context, (laughs) what was going on with the Eagles starting lineup last night? Who was their best receiver last year? Who made both of those quarterbacks look better than they probably deserve to look? Alshon Jeffrey. (laughs) Was he in the game last night? No. How about Nelson Aguilar? He's pretty good. In fact, last year he was pretty great at times. Was he in the game last night? He did not play. The third best rushing attack in pro football last year that makes those quarterbacks look a little better, if not a lot better, was the Philadelphia Eagles featuring LeGarrette Blunt. Did he play last night? He's in, no. You know where he's at. Okay. He's in Detroit. Okay. And how about J.H.I.? Yeah. Did he play last year? No. I mean, last night? Saved no. him. Oh, save him. Oh, so all of a sudden, Nick Foles is out there with no offensive line. His top two receivers are gone. And he doesn't have any running game, the, the big time running He's the game. best player in the NFL. Oh, okay. That's what you told me. Oh. You said whoever wins the Super Bowl or MVP, 
Well, as you like to tell me, if you put Tom Brady out there in that situation, he'd have a hard time because no, any Tom- human being would have a hard time. Mm-mm. Am I right? If, if, if Nick Foles is what you said he is, he makes those guys, they don't miss a beat. It's not what I said he is. It's what his stats scream that he is. Mm-mm. 61 to 29 in the regular season. So you get caught up wow. in those stats. What, uh-huh. what, did the eye, what did your eye test tell you uh-huh. last night? Well, what did terrible. You- okay. Although, you know what? When you say he's terrible, then you look at his overall stats, Shanjin. Mm-hmm. And he went, what if, what if you hadn't seen the game and you couldn't eye test the game? And I told you Nick Foles went 13 of 17 for 127 yards. What would you tell me? No, 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 no. Okay, huh? touchdown the interceptions. Huh? I need you to finish that. Huh? Yeah. No. I need you to finish stat. that. Huh? I, I'm, but what if you just knew that? What no. if I just told you that? You'd that's say, that's works. pretty good. No, I would say, well, skill. Wait, think of these numbers again. 13 of 17 for 127. Mm-hmm. That's beyond Baker Mayfield or Tyrod or Sudfield or Feld or whatever his name is. You know, like like that that was the those are the best stats of the night. Those those might wind up being the best stats of the whole third dress rehearsal weekend of preseason. If you don't mind me asking, then, I, and 17, then I'm gonna ask you about okay, what was this? And by the way, speaking of those numbers, and again, he did throw two interceptions two. and he lost a fumble. I, I give you that. <laughs> Said oh, it really quick. It. Yeah. Well, he just he did. I can't erase it. It happened. Okay. But in the bigger picture, what what was the, really the play of the night in the game that got canceled? What was the throw of the night? What was the escape of the night? Nick Foles goes back and he trips in the end zone. Yeah. And he gets up and he throws complete for what was it, 19 yards mm-hmm. to get out of jail? This is a you know, the, the, again, we forget about the other half of this play. That's a big time throw right there. That was Nick Foles in the Super Bowl throw. And yeah. He, yet, it did happen. Yet Miles Garrett got a hand on his helmet yeah. with his knee down. Right. So it gets disqualified. Right. So it didn't happen. It's canceled. Yeah. But Long it did five happen. Ball. But it did happen no, it didn't. because he thought the play was still live. It, and he threw the out route, and it was a really good throw. I mean, that was a big time throw. That looked like Nick Foles in the NFC Championship game and the Super Bowl. So, so let me get this right. I love how you do this. Now, LeBron. I, it's not how I do we, it. It's just I since, did it. Since, I, I did it. Since You're crushed. Hello. Since we're crushed. since we're in it's Cleveland. Over. Since we're in Cleveland. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it like this. LeBron James has a monster night. Mm-hmm. You tell, and he turns the ball over. But if, he didn't play any defense. Whoa! <laughs> Don't do that, Skip. Don't do that. You say he can't make that play. He yeah. turned the ball over. Yeah. Let's go back to game Are six. Are we putting Nick Foles in LeBron's conversation? You just Boy, that's really no, that, that's disrespectful uh, to LeBron. He's the best player in the NFL. Oh, bet no, he's not. Yes, he, you told Tom me. Tom Brady is. No, by no, 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 no. By Tom Brady didn't win the Super Bowl. Tom Brady was the finals MVP. That's how you say the best player. Because mm. Kevin Durant's got that title, right? That's what mm. you told me. Well, he does have that. Uh, so, oh. we're, we're, we're going to talk more about that in a little bit here. You need to stop, Skip Bayless. I you, think I just started. No. And I stopped you, and I stopped you. <laughs> you did not stop me <laughs> from anything. Just, you just made me more disappointed in that argument. No mercy. So Adrian Peterson is expected to make his debut in Washington tonight when the Redskins host the Broncos. Jay Gruden said he's anxious to see AP and Rick Schneider of the Washington Post wrote, quote, it wouldn't take much for Peterson to start over Rob Kelly. Eric Dickerson is still with us. Eric, what shot do you give AP to be the starter in Washington? Well, um, I'm 57 years old and Rob Kelly and Samaje, was it Samaje? Mm-hmm. I think I might, I, I think I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so I give a, AP a really good ch- chance of starting mm-hmm. now. You know, one thing about AP is he's a, he's a physical specimen. Mm-hmm. You look at him and matter of fact, my cousin who plays for the Arizona Cardinals when, when he, and he's there, I got some of them. Makeup. Oh, thank you. I got you. my makeup mm-hmm. Y'all can't do <laughs> I can't let my, get my th- fella th- gold nice jacket. Nice to you, Good, Shannon. <laughs> so he's there and he said, Eric, I said, I said, how does AP look? He said, Eric, man, he looks great. He said, we run the football you know, almost every play. He said, the only problem is that offensive line. <laughs> yeah. mm. But I, I would say that, that AP has a great sh- chance of starting. Um, I think he should start. I think he has a lot left in the tank. And, you know, football is, is not about your age. I think people look at how old you are. I mean, you do slow up. Don't get me wrong. You slow up. He's not, he doesn't have that step he had when he was 21 or 22 years old. But it's really about the hits you take. Mm-hmm. That's especially playing our position. The hits, you know, the injuries. You know, if it's a shoulder, if it's a knee. You know, he blew his he blew his knee out, and the year he went for the next mm-hmm. year he went for two thousand yards, mm-hmm. yeah. and he came back and had a great year. So it, it shows that it can be done. So for me, uh, I think um, that yeah, he'll have no no problem winning this job. I, a thousand really? percent. 
A thousand percent he starts. One thousand percent. Look at what he's up against. He's not up against Zeke. He's not up against Todd Gurley or Le'Veon Bell. Thank Rob you for Kelly. Saying Zeke first. <laughs> no, I didn't. I think that was a little Freudian slip there, right? I'm just naming mm-hmm. running backs. No. I'm, just, I'm just saying that's mm-hmm. not what he's up from yeah. best to next. Rob best. Kelly, Chris Thompson, really? Mm-hmm. If first of all, if they thought these guys could get the job done, they would have brought someone else in. Mm. They wouldn't have brought Adrian Peterson in. I believe he could, he could probably get skipped. Now the problem is he's he had two good game, two great games with Arizona, mm-hmm. two games over 130 yards, then he had three games under 30 yards, mm. and that's the problem. When you're older, you can't put those games back to back to back to back like that. But here's the thing: I do believe Adrian Peterson probably gets 700 to 800 yards, Skip. That's only 50 yards a game. Yeah, that's not that's not asking a whole lot. No. I believe he I believe he can do that. But and again, look at what's in front of him. It's not a Guys, these guys aren't proven commodities. Mm-hmm. They're more, they're more, uh, uh, they're better served in backup roles. Chris Thompson is a third down specialist. At every down back, mm-hmm. Rob Kelly, every down back. No, I don't see them as that. Mm-hmm. Adrian Peterson will be starting. Will, will he start opening day? I don't know, but he won't go more than two or three games without being the starting running back mm-hmm. in Washington. I know Adrian. I like Adrian <laughs> a lot. You, you know Adrian, right? Yeah, I do. And yet, in this circumstance, I fear for Adrian. I'm just not sure he's up to being the bell cow back at this age and stage of his career of the Redskins, even the Redskins. They like Rob Kelly a lot. That coaching staff has always liked him because mm-hmm. he runs hard. Is he as good at, like, overall talent? Well, not the old Adrian, but mm-hmm. the new one, I, I think it's going to be closer than you think. And it felt like they signed Adrian just to be a body because they needed a body. And they were fine with Rob Kelly. But, I mean, obviously they drafted Darius Geis, and then unfortunately yeah. they lost him. But, but they were going to be like 1 and 1A. One Can he be the 1A to Rob Kelly? Maybe. I hope so for him right. because it would be a good way for him to go out. But, by the way, you dismissed Samaje Pirine, who's also from the University of Oklahoma. He hurt. No, no, he's not he's that hurt. He ankle. has some ankle, ankle sprain, ankle. and yeah. they say he's sooner than later going to be back. He is a load. Man, a little bowling ball. He's, he's not a little bowling ball. He's a big, exactly. strong bowling ball. Yeah, he can lift a bowling entire, ball with legs. He can lift the entire <laughs> weight room. He, he will be one of the strong, if he's not already, yeah. one of the strongest players and, on and the, the strong team. strong don't mean nothing when he's a I know, field. I know. Come on. But it, it matters with his running style. Basically, like running back. <laughs> Jenny Taft covered him at the University of Oklahoma, and he yeah. can bowl people over, and I'm sure they like him enough. He, he could be more a effective at his age than Adrian can be at his age because he can just, it, it is. you know. Will you tell Skip what happened to running backs that you constantly try to run people over? The oh, they don't last long. <laughs> you know, they, they don't last long. Well, you know, you, he's you, young. You, you go over like the age of 33. You know, a guy who had a, a, a really good career, a season at the age of 33 was Franco Harris. He had over 1,000 yards. He did, you know, And yeah. if he was 21, he did that. Oh, we're excited. Yeah. But, he, but he was 33 years old. Another guy didn't have over 1,000 yards, but still at 33 years old and older, Marcus Allen. You know, because, you know, he hadn't taken those hits. You know, when you go back and look at when Adrian played, he had, I think, the game 134 yards. I forgot against who. He had 159 against San Francisco. You, at, at Arizona. Tampa. At, at Arizona. Yeah, yeah. At Arizona. Huge Tampa. game. First, yeah. Yeah, the game. Tampa and Arizona. Yeah. Okay. This is his first and his third game. Right. At now Arizona. we go, we play the Los Angeles Rams. Mm-hmm. You go to the buzzsaw, that defense, against that offensive line. Like, mm-hmm. like my cousin Ricky said, man, our line is not good. Yeah. Then he goes from there and he plays the Seattle Seahawks the next week. I mean, so, you know, I think even your running back, Todd, my, my, and my running back, Todd Gurley didn't do well against uh, the Seahawks. So it shows, I mean, that, that he can do it. It's, it's, he's not Adrian Peterson as the Adrian Peterson we know. Right. Sure. But should he start in this case? Most definitely. He'll, he'll beat these guys. And the thing, the thing is, what do they have in the passing game to help him out? Is Jordan Reed going to be healthy? Is Josh Dotson going to be able to make plays? Because last year he had an opportunity to make some plays and he, he whipped on them, Skip. So that's going to be the thing. Their offensive line hasn't been very good. They've been nicked the last couple of years. But Jordan Reed being healthy, Dotson, because you're going to have to take some pressure off because you just can't run the ball in this league anymore. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's league's too good. Why didn't Arizona try to keep Adrian? I know David Johnson's coming well, back. David Johnson. David Johnson. Yeah, but, but again, <laughs> David Johnson. You, you need a 1A. Nah, but see, yeah, you, you do. You, you, no, but not but that but 1A. You know, you know, you know, you're right. You don't, you don't need it that close. Yeah. I mean, nah, David Johnson, he, 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 a running back, don't, he, like a quarterback, you don't want to be doing this. Mm. You don't want to you don't be looking on your shoulder. Mm. It, it just doesn't work. So, no. that's, and uh, you guys had the guy from Washington, uh, Morris, Alfred Morris. Mm-hmm. You got rid of him. 
Right. He, he ran well for you we guys. Rod Smith, have you been watching? Rod Smith better than uh, Alfred? I can tell you. I don't know. How is it? All right. The load. Let me see. All right, we talked about the Cowboys. We talked about uh, AP. Mm -hmm. We talked about Baker Mayfield. Mm -hmm. We talked about He got to get them Samaji. Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma and Texas. You know, Oklahoma mm -hmm. and Texas. You, I mean, who, Oklahoma uh, and the Cowboys. Jenny Chaff, Oklahoma the and the Cowboys. Yeah. Who brought but up I, Samaje? But I did say bring it up, but boy, I who tell you, but I didn't say away from the school. He went to oh, Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> you know, he went to Oklahoma. In this Oklahoma. conversation, <laughs> who, who first brought up the Dallas Cowboys? But he I, did. <laughs> right? I was, did I? No. No, but I know one thing. You're going to dive right on. I'm coming. Right? Yeah. But all did, I was did trying. Did Baker Mayfield play last night? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. So are we going to talk about him when he all plays? I yes, was, we are. All I was trying to do to say the reason why AP can start <laughs> yep. is that look who he has in front of him. Okay. That's not, and I was just using that as an example. Mm. You had, that was your opportunity. <laughs> right. To throw and it in there. He mentioned the egg, with, I mean, the bowling ball with legs, mm -hmm. some IGP, Ryan. But we're going to see, Skip. We're going to see. He's a big bowling ball, I got to tell you. Yeah. If he'll, if he'll hold that job. Yeah. He'll, he'll hold that job. Okay, we'll see. Hey. Yeah. I hope you're right. But, it, but it, well, hold on. He might not, if, 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 if Samaj P. Ryan is what you think he is and what the. Uh, it's not uh, what, what I think he is. I know what he was. What, I've seen it before. Skip, you talk about that one. I, he was on but, track at one point to win the Heisman. This is going back, what, what are we back? Three years. Four three years, years ago. Four years three years. Okay, we'll see. But then, well, if, if, if AP is what you think he is. Mm -hmm. Not AP. Not, not if, if uh, uh, Samaj P. Ryan is what you think he is. Rob Kelly and Chris Thompson. How does AP even make well, the Chris team? Chris Thompson's not even the conversation. He's a third down pass yeah. catcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like but he's unbelievable at that. He is. I, mean, I, think he has a he, I think he has a broke leg. Got, so yeah, he's, he not, got he's, a he's out for a while. Well, so uh, Adrian Peterson is going to make the team and he'll yeah. be a starter. Okay. Watch. Okay. I hope and, the you watch. And, the, and the Cowboys will do on the playoffs. Put some do on it. I'm rooting for him. And the Cowboys won't make the playoffs. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Eric, huh? I, I'm already You're not going to be welcome back after that. But thank you for being here. It's no mercy. So it looks like Odell Beckham Jr. is about to get paid. ESPN reports Odell and the Giants are making progress on what is expected to be a record-setting contract for a wide receiver. Tonio Brown makes $17 million per year. Mike Evans got $55 million guaranteed. Odell's deal is expected to pass both of those benchmarks. He has yet to play in the preseason, and the Giants open their season two weeks from Sunday. We're joined now by Rob Parker. Rob. Rob. What's happening? Rob. Rob, 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 is Odell worth the money? Absolutely. I say pay the man. Pay the man. Pay the man. Pay Skip, good. you heard of the Big Apple. This is going to be the mm. big cheddar. He should get <laughs> every dime he can get. Mm. He's that dynamic of a player. He's done nothing but produce since 2014, mm. right? Third in receptions on average, mm -hmm. third in yards on average per game. Uh, total touchdowns, he's second. So he's done all those things with Antonio Brown and Julio Jones. So he, he, he um, matches up with those guys. So I have no issue. Sure, would you have liked him to be healthy and not coming off an injury? I get it. Yes, I, if I'm the Giants, I would. But you're watching him practice mm -hmm. and you're watching him through everything. So you have to feel confident that yep. he's good, he's back. And, you know, he's one of those dynamic players who's just – bigger than the team that he's on. You mm -hmm. know, there's not a lot of guys like that who are mm -hmm. who he's just a star. And I think that night, was it against the Cowboys when he made that yep. catch? Yep. On national television. A game they lost. Like they lost. That was unnecessary, Skip. We were just talking about the Skip catch. Just up the we catch. Need context. See, you got context. I he just wanted to know Cowboys. what they right. The Cowboys <laughs> on national television. Mm -hmm. And I remember that night so vividly. Because Were you on a honeymoon or no, I wasn't on a honeymoon. <laughs> but that was another failed date or something yeah. I was on. But no, um, I remember the the, the uh, color analyst, um, Chris Collinsworth. Chris Collinsworth. Yeah. Okay. When he said, "That's the greatest catch I ever saw," I said it at the same exact time. Wow. Huh. Because well, that makes it the greatest. No, no, no. But I was just saying. That's what I thought to myself when I saw it. Mm. And I and I know there's other things, and he could be a diva and. A lot of receivers are like that. Shannon, who was the DB? Used cars, car. you call <laughs> yeah, it. That's Brand right. Used yeah. car. So, so I don't have an issue. I, I think that uh, he should get paid. The Giants want to cash him out. Remember, it's always better with the cheddar, so I'm good with OBJ getting paid. Mm. Uh, yes, he should He should get the highest pay. And I get that, Skip. That's what I get. Is he worth it? You're worth what someone will pay you. And the market dictates that Odell, in the last year of his contract, he's going to be the highest paid. Now, there will be another receiver that comes along that's in the last year of his contract, and then he'll be the highest paid. But if you look at what this young man has done, 
1,300 yards and, three t- and 10 touchdowns per season in his first three healthy seasons. Mm. That's hard to come by, Skip. You, Eli is better when Odell Beckham is on the field. Mm. He's one of the few guys that's bigger than the quarterback on his team. Mm. That doesn't happen often in considering Eli's won two Super Bowls. Mm. And, and in New York, Odell's bigger. Mm. That's, that's, that's unheard of, Skip. Mm. A quarterback that's won Super Bowls in, in a town like that and the wide receiver is a bigger. Granted, he's, and his mistakes is, you know, going to South Florida when he should have been in New York or what, on his off day or, you know, in, uh, uh, um, in France with that. Mo- Skip, I heard she was a cosmetic heiress and they were mixing product. They were mixing product. That's what that product was. Is that, that what that was? That's what it was on that pizza box. Yeah, product. Damn product. That, he wanted to take the shine off. Yeah! Like, that, that's she, what did you nose, call her? Right? Yeah. Cosmetic something? <laughs> yeah, she's a cosmetic. Yeah, she's a cosmetic. And they're like, oh, can you help what me? What is that? It's a new... Stop it, Jenny. <laughs> but anyway, he doesn't get in trouble. Mm. Okay, so what? He's, he travels with Drake. She, me and Lil Duval about to hit the set. Me and Lil Duval, two chains. Yeah, we about to go on tour. You, you quote him every other day. Yeah, we about, we about to. Hey, man, yeah. now. Yeah, we about, to hit, we about to hit the set. Go all over. Really? Yeah, you not you invited. Travel with him. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy not to be invited. <laughs> so, as a Dallas Cowboy fan, I say what Rob says: Pay the man, overpay the man. Just pay him all he wants, all he thinks he's worth, because he's never going to live up to it. Yes, he is. He will not live up to it. This is a guy who. As a Giant, in the games he's participated in, the Giants are 21 and 26. So he's been a real game changer for the New York football Giants. And I will agree with you that he makes Eli better. He makes Eli go from bad to below average. That's about all. That's what he takes him up to about below average. And I'll I'll give you that much. Well, that Eli can win a Super Bowl. Has Odell not proved to be a little brittle, if not a lot brittle? You going to bet on that? You're going to bet the most money any wide receiver has ever been paid on that? Because I hope you do because you're going to lose on that one because I think he's just brittle. Did he not break last year? Have we not seen him pull this and pull that? Have we not seen tantrum after tantrum upon tantrum? And I'm I'm trying – I'm I'm just – out of my mind over people trying to convince me through the offseason that he's become a leader of this team. So he did lead them, quote unquote, to one playoff game at Lambeau Field, except before that game on the previous Monday, he led the receivers down to South Beach to, to bask in the sun on a yacht to prepare for a game up in the snow on, on the frozen tundra of Lambeau <laughs> Field. If we'd see that, look at that. that. That's your leader. That's the new leader of Anything the football. Anything wrong with getting a little sun, yeah. you know, Skip? And so you get brown on yep. both sides. So he's, played in, <laughs> he's played in one playoff game, and in that game, it looked like Eli came out like playoff Eli yeah. hot, and it got to third and something, third and five, and who dropped the pass that changed the whole game? Odell did after down. he led the receivers down to South Beach to get ready to go to Lambeau. And then you spoke of it, but can we see just a, just a touch of that video? Because it looked really suspicious to me in that hotel room in Paris. Makeup. I, I don't know what was mixing happening product. there. Oh, mixing product. Yep. What, what's that? I don't know. I'll, Anti-shine. I'll, I'll just say it's, uh-huh. it's suspicious what's going on. All I see is the uh, extra pizza. extra uh, pepperoni okay. on the pizza. That's, 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 that's some big behind pepperoni oh, slices. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks so wow. good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the new leader of the New York football giants. That's the guy who's going to be paid more than any wide receiver has ever been paid. And by the way, he once upon a time said, I don't want wide receiver money. I want quarterback money. I think I should be paid more than anybody in this game should be paid because Odell has become, and look, I think he has a good heart. He's just kind of lost focus, but he is, he's more celebrity than football player. In the end, yeah. that's what he is. And that's the point you were actually making, but I'm going to use it as a negative because he sees himself as a Big Apple celebrity. Yeah. And it's just dangerous. It's not how you win football I think games. He, I think right now he's probably behind Aaron Judge. I think Aaron Judge is the, big, is, is the, biggest, is the biggest name, biggest Still star. Still bigger in New York. Absolutely. Yeah, Aaron Judge. Really? But as far as page six-ish, sort of back page it's, it's oh, yeah. Odell. I mean, oh, just, yeah. Well, what yeah, Judge... That, you don't know that show. stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I, I agree with that. Well, okay. Judge is, is probably had talked to Jeter, and Jeter says you stay out of page six. Right. Mm. So, with that... But, Skip, for me, I, I just believe, look, he's made some mistakes, and uh, not mistakes. He hadn't did, didn't done anything He didn't do anything wrong right. being on that boat. I just, but I'm, I'm willing 
to say, you know what, I believe Odell is going to mature and he will make amends for that boat trip by winning, getting team, this team back to the playoffs. He'll make amends for that playoff loss in Green Bay by winning playoff games. Mm. So he's earned the right. Mm. He, I, and, and I also think, Skip, to be on, I think that you, you have some valid points. I get it. But I really think that he wants to be the best. Like, like he wants to be that guy. He wants to, like, break records and, you know, do all he can and is willing to put in the work. Yes, because yes, he does some childish stuff on the side yes. with, the, with the kicking net and all that other yes. stuff, which you could do without. But, but I, I, it's not like we're going to pay him the money and I think this guy's not going to work right. hard or not try to be the best that he could be. I believe in that he will be that guy. Are you sure he doesn't want to be the best before the game instead of during the game? Because he puts on a show before the game unlike He put on show. a show during the game, too, really? when he's healthy. Uh, and I believe he'll be healthy. When he's healthy. Magic no. word. Well, he got something for you Cowboys. Really? Watch you get 100. Right. I bet he, let's see what a woozy a do against him. Okay, is he going to lead the Giants to the playoffs this year? Maybe. Want to bet on that? Is that all you do? Go no, to Vegas. Well, that's what. That's all you do to me. I'm just throwing it back at you. Go to Vegas, huh? Go Who's the quarterback? I just went to Vegas. Who's the quarterback? Is Eli the quarterback? Huh? Well, you know he is. <laughs> oh, then no. Then huh? no. <laughs> like, okay. Unless I missed. And, and the other thing too, Skip. I think Shannon's point is really good about it's just a timing thing because mm -hmm. we saw Matthew Stafford got the most money of any quarterback. Really? How many playoff games has Matt won? You know what I mean? But it was just time. Was, Look at Kirk Cousins. Right? You, you, all, you been out on First Cousins. You called a man Kurt. That's so right. His name is Kirk. He is the most overpaid <laughs> player in the history of pro football as we speak. As we Let's speak. Let's hope not. Well, that, I know. For your sake. <laughs> your sake. Good, sake. Good God. luck. <laughs> Although in that one preseason game, the last one, it didn't yeah, I don't look want to that talk good. But whatever. Let's forward. So, Odell, is he going to stay healthy and stay in bounds and – lead this football team. How, really? That's, yeah. what, that, that's like comical to say. He'll have really? the captaincy on it. He and, Ode, he and uh, Eli had a captaincy. Bet. Really? You want to bet that? Captaincy. Okay. All right. Well, you can put a C on there, but is he going to live up to yes. it? Yes. After the Giants he mishandled the, the walk? draft and didn't take a quarterback, they got no choice. Yeah. They really don't. Mm -hmm. Because without, without him – Eli's not going to be able to get anything done, so they have no choice. They back themselves into a corner. I, I am happy that they're going to overpay Odell. They're not going to overpay. Happy. What's well, overpay? Stuck with him. What's overpay? Yeah. Yeah. You got to get the market. Mm. Is he better than Mike Evans? A after that video came out, I can't even believe we're having this conversation. It's cosmetics. Honestly. It is not cut. Okay. Mm. Stop, G. Have there been any charges filed? Oh, and money or not, he still has some maturity to do. I, I mean, that doesn't happen overnight. You don't just mm. become a leader, become a mature guy. Yeah. He needs to carry but you himself gotta have better. Confidence. They got to have confidence. The show, him, show him that you have confidence in him, that he can, he can lead this team, mm. and he'll perform. He, he will step up to the plate. Mm. He'll step up to the plate with Drake. I know that. <laughs> yeah. He will. He will be right hey. there beside him on stage. Thank you for being here. Y'all going to see me on stage. I'm living my best life. I don't see him on stage. No mercy. Piston center Andre Drummond gave Kevin Durant a huge compliment yesterday, told TMZ that Durant is the best pickup basketball player alive today. Drummond added that KD is, quote, unguardable. Earlier this week, we saw Durant playing a little pickup here in L.A. with LeBron, Kawhi, and others. Shannon, could you see this? Uh, yes, but to be considered um, a great pickup basketball player, Skip, you have to have a scorer's mindset. Mm. Um, Durant game is is, is perfect. Um, LeBron his game is more rounded. We saw in what 2011, Durant scored 66 at at the Rucker because he has no weakness offensively. He can pull up from 30. Mm. He can get to the bucket, mid range. He can post you. Yep. Um, pickup game is not the same as as an NBA game. And because LeBron game is more rounded, because KD's first four years, he was under three assists a game but he was averaging 27, 28 points a night. Mm. Well, and if you look at KD's, KD's greatest assist season is five and a half. LeBron's worst, his rookie season, is 5.9. Mm. See, LeBron goes into a pickup game. He can't go into a game because all I'm doing is score because that's not the way he's wired. Mm. He's wired differently. Where KD, James Harden, some of these ISO players that, you know, get to the bucket. Now, uh, obviously, Harden has molded his game now that he does f uh, facilitate a little bit more. But let's just take KD. KD goes into a game says, 
I don't need to worry about assists. That's what Steph's for. That's what Russ was for. That's what Draymond's for. Mm. All I need to do is put the ball in the basket, get a few rebounds here and there, mm. protect the rim from the weak side. Mm. In the pickup game, you don't worry about no assist, Skip. You ain't worried about no defense. You just worried about putting the ball in the bucket. Kind of like old boy Shake. Like a day, Skip. Ooh, you about pick up, Skip? I could do it. I could put that ball in the hoop, Skip. Mm. But KD, yeah. I mean, seven foot tall. How many get uh, Skip? How many get? Go from Kevin Durant to. Shay back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. Okay. How many, let me ask you a question. How many pickup basketball players you going to see? Hey, man, who got next? Can I get a run? And that guy, seven foot tall, <laughs> can shoot the ball from 30. Where, where, where are those guys at? Normally, a guy that size, he's a center. He's a true center. He's he, just one. Exactly. And you know what? <laughs> he has become the best player on the planet. Oh, my goodness. See how far you go? This is just further proof. No, it's not. Happening. And you can't stop it. He's 29 years of age, and he has arrived as the best player on. That's the not team. what Andre Drummond said. It's 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 just part and parcel. No, of it's this not. Whole process because you've been watching the videos online. You can just see Kevin playing, and I don't know sure. who shoots all this, but just in pickup games, and I just sit back in awe of it because he is playing selfish basketball, <laughs> and he'll bring the ball up as we see now, various moves. It's just that that's that's not fair. No. He's not only seven feet tall, he has a seven four wingspan. If yes. you've ever stood next to him, he's long yeah. seven feet. Yes. Like long and seven feet. And then he's shooting that's the ball at a fair. ten foot arc. Yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> it cannot happen. And he'll take the ball down the court, just sometimes he'll just dribble the length of the court and nobody can keep him from the basket mm. because he's releasing the ball so high right. above the basket, he's just laying it up off high off the glass right. and nobody can touch it. And then you gotta worry yeah. about with the heads they pull up. The hezzy pull-up can be, <laughs> as Iguodala said the other day, from 50. I don't think it's from 50, but it can be from 30. And then you mentioned he yeah. can get all the way to the rim. Okay. He, he can do all of the above. And, and yet, I still don't get this. You, you were defending LeBron the other day on the video game rating. He had a 97, yep. right? Yep, yep. What was Kevin? I can't remember. He's ninety. You remember. 95. You remember. You know what it, it was. was terrible. You 95. Terrible. 95. Yeah. So, it's just wrong. No, it's because not. Because it, it's just wrong. It, it, listen, the, the point is Kevin went to Golden State to play the right way. Mm -hmm. So he does in, in his own way. Like LeBron also plays the right way. But Kevin in a different way plays the right way because as Iguodala also said, and remember Iguodala is highly respected in this league. He mm -hmm. has a high basketball IQ and he goes deep. And he said the other day, people don't appreciate Kevin Durant enough. He's the most talented scorer of all time. Well, that's a mouthful now because we've seen a lot of players come down the pike, including Michael Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know, yeah. and, and he's just saying he's a walking 30 points because he'll get 30 on 12 shots. He says that's very, very hard to do. Kevin can just pick his spots, and you can't stop him. And if his team needs him to score, he just scores. Right. And we just saw back-to-back -back game threes in LeBron's house, turning point game threes where the whole series could have swung back the other way. Yeah in which Cleveland held leads late in the game, mm -hmm. and Kevin Durant just said, no, I got this. And that's why Steph Curry welcomed Kevin Durant into their fold and said, hey, you're the man now, right? right? Yeah, he but, deferred. But only the only guy that really goes into a pickup game that would go into a pickup game would probably be Magic Johnson or LeBron trying to get others involved because that's their mindset. Kevin Durant doesn't have that mindset. He knows that what he he's an assassin. He he would he came to Golden State not to facilitate but, but the offense. He's not what you call selfish. No, like, no, no, like, no, 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 no. I, I no, love no. Kobe Bryant, but he was the most selfish player yeah. I ever watched yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's just gonna gun it, man. Yeah, he's right. Just, he's just gonna shoot. Yeah, he's not going. Kevin is not really trying to take bad shots. No. There's not a bad in Kobe's mind. There's not a bad shot mm -mm. as long as a shot. It's a good shot. Half court, 33 feet. It doesn't matter. And by the way, Kobe Bryant made a lot of bad shots. He made He it. made a lot of tough bad shots. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but with KD, Skip, because of his mindset, and he doesn't have to, like in pickup games, nobody really goes into a pickup game and says, man, I'm going to try to get me like 10 assists. Nobody goes into a pickup game thinking that, Skip. Everybody's trying to put the ball. I mean, unless that's what you do at right. Rucker. You right. Know, like you're a legendary assist man. Or, or you know, you, you got great handles. Like Kyrie mm -hmm. is going to put on a show handling the ball at the Rucker. He will. That's what he does. He does. KD is a scorer. Yeah. So when he went to the Rucker in 2011, he dropped 66 because he's like, look, dude, I can get 60 points like it ain't nothing. Literally, if he really wanted to, he could, he could probably drop 35 a night. Mm -hmm. 
easy. Mm. Because, he, like you said, he can get the three ball. He can get to the rim. You file him. He's a 90, 85, 88 to 90 percent free throw shooter. So he has no weakness offensively. Mm. So, yeah, if he wanted to. But that's not – he's like, I'm trying to win. So me scoring 35 and not winning championship, mm. as, a, as opposed to me scoring 25, 26, 27 mm. and winning championships, give me that. Mm. But his game is more suited for a one-on-one aspect, whereas LeBron mm. is getting you 27. Think about mm. it, Skip. KD is averaging 27.2, 3.9 assists. LeBron James averaging 27.3. He in the mid sevens as far as assists. Mm. So that lets you know that's level that three. So mm. you add three over four years, considering all the games missed, that's why you see mm. the disparity in assists. But KD, not, you don't shoot free throws and pick up games, but he's a 90% yeah. free throw shooter and LeBron's 74. And- even, even with that, Skip, guess what? Even at shooting 16, uh, 16 points higher from the mm-hmm. free throw line, LeBron still averages more points per game. Mm. But that ain't none but of my he business. he shoots more shots per nope. game. Oh, Skip, stop. Mm, he stop does. it. Kevin Durant in Golden State doesn't shoot that many shots a game. He like he, Iggy said he can get thirty on twelve shots. I don't know about that, but I saw LeBron get get thirty on eleven shots. But that's none of my business. Uh, I don't see Skip. You know what? That's you know all the business. You know what truth? You, you know what there. truth? The truth yeah. and facts they'll ruin any argument. So yeah. that's that's not why I'm here, Jenny. I'm <laughs> not here to ruin nobody's argument. So I'm not here to ruin Shannon's argument. But yes, there you is are. this other thing in basketball called defense, and, oh, and my LeBron goodness. just quit playing it. And I I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't count anymore. Maybe the game Le- has swung where. Nobody – is it against the rules to play defense? Can I ask you a question? Maybe you just don't play. It's my floor right How now. Ma- I just seize the floor. Okay, go ahead. So, LeBron James <laughs> last year ranked is, – is this a – can I even qualify this stat? I don't know. Maybe it's not even usable because defense doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But he ranked 308th in the NBA in individual defensive win shares. Mm-hmm. Kevin Durant in the playoffs ranked seventh in the whole playoffs in defensive win shares. That, that's pretty if great. You, if you don't mind and me. And by the way, Kevin Durant ranked seventh also in blocks last year in the NBA, and the six guys yes, above sir. him are all centers. Yep, he's taller than all of them except Rudy Gobert. Yep. Mm-hmm. But let me, okay, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't Thank mind you. me, if you're making my argument. If you don't mind me asking, how many first team mm. all defensive teams mm. that Kevin Durant made? Mm. Uh, well. Guess what would what? you mean, well? If he's that guy, hold on. You keep telling me how great a defensive player he is. When was the last time LeBron made a first team all defense? Probably his last year in uh, in uh, Miami. Mm. But her, which, 2014 or 20 never for Kevin Durant? Hmm. Well, he was seventh in blocks. And I think once he went to Golden State, he became one of the best rim protectors. Weak side ball. rim. Dep- yes. You know? yes. One of the best. Is he going to get voted on first team? Nope. He's be- not going be- to. Because you know why? Because here's the thing, he has other guys that can help him score. Mm-hmm. When he didn't have to focus on solely on just scoring, yep. now he can do other things. LeBron James doesn't have that luxury. See, I, I didn't say that Kevin has a better legacy than LeBron. That, that'll never happen. No, I'm saying you, yeah. you keep talking about defense, but he's no, never made an all defense. About right here, right now, yeah. Kevin Durant has arrived okay. as the best player on the planet. No, no, see, see. You, well, he just won back-to-back finals MVPs with games in LeBron's house. I take you to the pool. You automatically think you're a lifeguard. Yeah. I'm trying to give you credit. Kevin Durant is playing better defense I right now. Life- no, you're not no I lifeguard. Am. You're not a lifeguard, a life coach, a life nothing. I could do all that. You try to make my life I'm miserable every day for two and a half hours. That's true, and I do. <laughs> but here's the thing, Skip Bayless. All I'm saying is... I'm not trying to minimize KD defensively, Mm -hmm. but you look at KD what he was in Oklahoma City. We didn't see the KD now that I mean back then that we see now because he does. He has Clay that's going to give you 20 a night. He got Steph that's going to give you 25 a night, and he has Draymond that can do all the things. Now he gets to focus. Oh, I dropped my 25. Mm -hmm. Let me go help on the weak side. But when it's time, who's the man? LeBron. Durant. LeBron. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant. Barty. Yeah, if you if you want to, that guy to do that thing, it's Kevin Durant. Skip, the man averaged 34, 9, and 9 for the entire – in 21 games in the mm. – 20-something games mm. in the playoffs. Skip, mm. where they do that at? Kevin is just more all-around valuable. He does – Stop he's playing! At what he does. He, look, he, he's a career 38% three-point shooter. LeBron's not bad at 34%, but 38 over time is a lot better than – What about the assistant rebounds? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But when it's time to make that shot, what, like these video games, more? what do the video games hinge on? Offense. Okay. Right? So my guy, offense. my guy averages more assists, more rebounds. Who's the more explosive offensive player? Kevin Durant. That's not what the numbers say. Greatest pickup player that, ever, says Andre Drummond. 
And, and he's right. He just is. So now, so now pick up. So that's how we measure well, whether or not you're a great player. You know player what? Pick up. I think in today, on today's internet, I think that plays. I think that counts. Did you not see the highlight them showing LeBron? Just giving folk the business. Yeah. Giving them business. Pick yeah. Uh, and the pickup game. You, they make it, you, you make it seem like LeBron is just a bum in the pickup. <laughs> Sitting Freight there, train. hanging out. Well, he's getting a little old, you know. He's oh. got to take it easy. Take it easy for what? Into his 16th year. And, and kicking folk. You, as you told me last year, he can't exert himself on defense anymore, right? No, 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 no. So no. he can't exert himself in pickup games. No, no. I'm saying he can't exert himself night in and night out like he oh. once could. Oh, oh but there, there'll be a time that he's like, okay, mm. let, me go on and, let me go on and shut this thing down. Shut mm. this off. Turn this spigot off. I'd mm. like an invite to some of these pickup games to judge mm. for myself. You know, just mm. really. That would be interesting. See I'd like an invite to watch Kevin Durant torch LeBron playing one on one. Wouldn't you? No, I would LeBron, love to see that. LeBron. Not going to happen. Okay. No mercy. Thank you for listening to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm Jenny Taft. Keep an eye out for the weekend edition of the podcast tomorrow morning featuring this week's best segments. Have a great weekend, everyone. Fox Sports. One. Of one, of one, of one.